Hello, welcome back. Now we're looking at question number two. Before we start, just make sure you share this video with your friends if you find these series of videos helpful, right? Exams are tomorrow from the date of recording this video. And whenever the exams are, just send it to your friends and everyone, right? Everybody should watch this. Uh, Rai is a trader. He has prepared his trial balance at 31st January 2023. The credit side total 152 more than the debit side. So debit side is shorter and if the difference is put into suspense account, it will be a debit balance, right? Because the credit is more than the debit, the smaller side is where the balance goes, right? So uh, in the suspense account, do we have a suspense account later coming up? Yes, we have. So we have to make journal entries, we have to make suspense account, we have to make profit adjustments and a couple of theory questions. So before we do anything, I guess we can uh, put the suspense account opening balance where it says the credit side total more, 152 more than the debit. So debit side is smaller by 152, 152 debit side. Okay, 152. And we what, what do we call that? We call that difference on trial balance, okay? Now, just be careful, write the whole thing, difference on trial balance, okay? Not just that part. Uh, also, what are the dates there? Just write the date on which this difference was calculated. 31st January 23. So 2023, January 31st. That's good enough, okay? Fine. Then we'll do the rest. Raj later discovered the following errors. Wages $200 had been entered in the cash book, but omitted from the wages account. So what is the normal entry for wages? Cash book credit, wages debit, right? In this case, the credit entry was done, but the debit entry in the wages account of 200 was not done, okay? So we go up to the journals and uh, by the way, narratives not required, that good, that's good news because I personally don't like writing narratives. They're just rephrasing the uh, question, right? Those are some easy marks, but personally, I don't like them. Uh, so, error number one, okay? We are debiting wages. By how much? 200, okay? What are we crediting? There's nothing to credit. Cash book is already credited, so there's nothing to credit. And so we credit suspense. Like there's no other account credit, so we credit suspense, okay? One error figured, right? Leave a space, I guess, right? Leave a space to write it nicely. <clears throat> uh, credit purchase of 247 from Stella had been debited to Stella's... From Stella had, has been, had been debited to Stella's account and credited to purchase's account. So when you purchase on uh, credit from Stella, you're supposed to credit Stella and debit purchases but you've done the opposite so to flip this you will have to double right double what's the reason for doubling the reason is instead of crediting Stella you have debited Stella so first time you have to credit this to cancel the debit and then another time you have to credit to actually put the entry hopefully you've done this before or we can say in error of complete reversal this is what, what example of complete reversal you have to double the effect because rather than writing something correctly you've done it wrong but on the opposite as well so you have to first fix the mistake and then bring it bring it to the right right place and so that requires a double adjustment so 247 times 2 would be 247 times 2 is 247 times 2 is 494 494 okay that's the adjustment required all right let me just confirm credit purchase from stella had been debited to stella's account we we're supposed to credit because it's a liability isn't it stella is our liability it's a trade payable we can't debit a trade payable when you know we're purchasing from them and credited to the purchase account that's also completely opposite complete reversal 494 debit purchases by 494 that's error number two we debit purchases 
and we credit Stella by 494. Okay, let's move on. Try to speed up. The rent payable account and the sales account had both been overcast by 100. Now, be careful. Rent payable is what? An expense account. And sales account is an income account, we can say. At least it, that's the way it works. It's a revenue account, income account. Both works the same way. Now, <clears throat> expenses, when they go up, they are debited. And sales, or let's say income or revenue, when it goes up, that's credited. Okay, expenses are debited and sales is... So what, what happened here is we have uh, too much of a debit in the expenses account, rent payable. So we have to credit to cancel. And in sales account, we have too much of a credit because both are overcast, right? And so uh, sales account will be debited to cancel that $100 because that's too much, right? Sales account will be debited and the rent payables account will be credited, okay? Let's just uh, confirm the amount, $100. And that's, of course, error number three, okay? Both were overstated. It means sales was too much credited. We debit to cancel that. Rent payables was too much debited. We cancel that by crediting. A check for motor expenses 75 had been debited twice in the motor expenses account. So twice you debited motor expenses. What you have to do now is just cancel it once. It was supposed to be debited once. Supposed to be debited once, but it was debited twice. So we cancel it just one time. All right. Uh, that's error number four. We uh, debit suspense because there's nothing else to debit. And we credit, what was it again? Motor expenses, okay? By the way, write the full thing. Suspense account, suspense account, right? Not just suspense. Write the whole thing. Suspense account. Actually, it's going to be okay. It's not a big deal, but I am just just want to make it more accurate. Although that's that's unnecessary, because that way you would have to write account with everything, wages account, purchase account. So that's slightly unnecessary. Like the examiner won't be deducting your marks for that. Okay, you wrote suspense. That's enough. Okay. Uh, a payment to Jasper one ninety six had been recorded as one sixty nine. So uh, this is only the problem in from Jasper's side. In on on the bank, it's fine. So one ninety six one ninety six minus. What is that? 169? Yeah. 169. 196 minus 169. That's 27. And uh, when you make a payment to Jasper or any uh, supplier, you credit your bank and you debit the supplier account, the payable account, right? So in this case, the debit wasn't enough, right? We need to debit 27 more. All right, so Jasper will be debited by 27 more. The bank entry was fine, apparently. There's only problem with Jasper's account, so the credit entry will be the suspense account, right? Suspense account, all right. And that's your fifth one. Oh, wait, we didn't put the amounts for the suspense account earlier. So the previous one, we have to put 75, right? Five there with Jasper it was 27 27 27 okay all right let's move on the suspense account now uh, let's just complete this so all the entries related to suspense account we put them into the suspense account so that's uh, 200 goes there of course, you also have to put the detail. Why was that credited? Because wages were debited. And of course, you write the same date. 
2023, January 30, 31st. Okay, let's go up. Uh, what else happened? Suspense account was debited by 75. 75. What are the details there? Motor expenses. Motor expenses. If you go up. Finally, suspense account was credited by 27 because of Jasper. 27. Jasper. Hopefully, it balances. If it's equal on both the sides, it means it's now, uh, we have dealt with all the errors. 152 plus 75. That's 227. It matches. Perfect. Both the sides are 227. There is there's supposed to be no balance. Well, if there is a balance, it means there are more errors to find. Okay. Both sides are 227. Errors are figured. Very good. Rise original draft profit before correcting the errors was 9,800. So uh, after correction, let's have a look. You can say original is uh, how much? 9,800. I can do this with a pen, actually. That'd be much more convenient. Okay. So we can say draft profit is 9,800. Um, wages increased, right? Wages increased, so that will be deducted. Wages will be deducted. Purchases increased by 494. Purchases increased by 494. Of course, that's also an expense, or let's say a cost. Sales decreased by 100. Sales decreased by 100. Again, that will reduce your profit. Uh, motor expenses. What happened to the motor expenses? Motor expenses uh, went down, so that will increase profit by 75. 75 motor expenses. And the final one, uh, nothing to do with Jasper. So that'll be the adjustments, okay? Went kind of fast with it. Hopefully nothing missed. 9,800 minus 200 minus 494 minus 100 plus 75. That's 9,081. 9,081. Wait, let me fix that. 9,081 adjusted profit, okay? adjusted profit fine uh, rice trial balance was used to check the arithmetical accuracy of the ledger accounts his journal was used to correct the errors found fine one other use of trial balance it is used in preparation of financial statements or final accounts that's one other use of trial balance except besides this one one other use of journal or let's say the general journal uh, for we can say it is used to find errors and for let's say year end adjustments okay we're done with this question uh, apologies for the bad handwriting Let me just fix that adjustments year-end adjustments okay you know transfers and all that so uh and, and there are more actually there are more users you can look up your book in your book uh, if you want more of, of uh, the users now we're done with this question as well 20 marks share this with your friends if this helps you okay good luck